We are out here in Clearfield, Utah on a repossession for a 2008 Ford F-150 Super, Super Crew. Sitting right here under the trees. Let's get our backup camera going here. pick this truck up take it with us up to Ogden goes up there to the finance company's office they've got a little impound up there that they want it left at bigger tires so it's right on the edge of our lift that dolly mount comes really close to that bumper the wheels are turning it is an 08 Ford pull it straight out here and then pop it open if it's blocked strap the wheel down Right on the edge of the lift on this side. Unlocked. Steering's locked. Got a Beretta 9mm in the door. clip is loaded cell phone actually a couple clips in there the clip empty put those bullets somewhere else get this thing strapped down and then Just debating whether I want to make contact or not a couple car seats in there I was gonna guess the truck wasn't running just by the mud on the hood What I'll do is I'll... The guy that just pulled up in a Grand Am right next to where we just pulled this truck out. We've got an apartment number, so I think what we'll do is I'm gonna pull around the corner here, get the truck away from where we just took it. And then uh, that way they don't have access to that gun in the door. I'll make contact. If they wanna get personal property out, I'll have them give me the key. Remove the bullets from the clips. The wheel's locked, and I'd like to get the wheel turned straight. We'll pull out here on the main road. We'll make contact with the apartment number.
apartment's right here. I'll pull up right behind it. Get off the road here. Not getting an answer at the door. So we're gonna have to uh, pull the steel. Oh, there we go. Hey, is this a good address for you? Okay, are you the one driving the red F 150? Uh, okay, I just noticed the car seats and stuff in there, plus there's like a gun in the door, so I didn't know if you were wanted. Okay, do you have a key for it? Okay. It's out front, right around the building here. I'm on the main street. I'm guessing, they don't tell us the reason, but if there's a number of reasons that can cause a loan to go into default. No insurance, payments behind. Payments. Yeah. I don't know, we're married, but we have to separate up. Accounts and yeah. whatnot, yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I appreciate letting me get the car I'm on my second marriage and I'm kind of a big believer in keeping certain financial things separate. Yeah. <laughs> you know? There's certain things you just don't keep. Okay. Is the gun in the door registered to him or to you? To him, but I'm gonna get that yeah, out. Yeah, it's probably, there's two clips in there. And yeah. I saw the car seat and thought maybe, <laughs> make it as least irritating as possible for you. Yeah, considering I did work Yeah. It's amazing, I'd say, other than cell phone chargers, car seats are probably the number one thing that people want out of a vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that? I can let it down a little bit if it's too high. Oh, okay. Okay. Here, can you hand it to me? Oh, is it, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, once I've got something lifted in the air like that, anybody's height challenged. <laughs> you know, challenged would be me. Yeah. Doesn't help having the butt end up in the air. No. So, uh, he, he just needs to contact the finance company and then they'll just tell him what he needs to do to get the truck back. Yeah, that's kind of, like I said, that's his deal. Yeah. I just, my dad kind of thought it was pretty If he asks where the ammunition went, I put them all in the center console. Okay. So they'll, 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 they'll stay in there. Oh, hey, how you doing? I was just telling her the ammunition that was in the clip is just in the center console. Is it really that far? I thought it's not even a full month yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just give them a call and they'll tell you what you got to do to come pick it up. They'll have it in their possession. No but thank you for later. Oh, no problem. And then just key, you'll get the same key back with it. Okay. What is that, a 40? Yeah. That's what I was guessing. I looked at it, I was like, 9 mil? I'm like, no, that's too big of a barrel. I knew it wasn't a 45, so I was guessing 40. Kind of fun toy. I like guns. Yeah. They are, they are fun. Good to have in this country. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, you got a contact number to get a hold of them? I think so. Okay, good.
not a metal hood. I like to put the lights up as high as possible. Anyhow. Better visibility. All right, now she'll tow straight. I pull back just a little bit. We should be able to access this road right behind us. Clean turnaround here. Oh, up over the curb. too close to that curb to back up so luckily this truck's got the turning radius it does I'm so used to the f-250 where there's no way you're turning around on a street this wide without doing at least multiple maneuvers but this little short box f-550 man she just turns on a dime so we'll get this transported and head to our next thing Highway patrolman right here was flying down the outside lane and all of a sudden he slammed on his brakes and sat there for a minute and watched this guy in this white box truck and then he freaking slowed way down and I was gotten behind him. I'm guessing the guy was probably texting on his phone or doing something on a mobile device because they're really cracking down on that here in Utah. Highway patrol will cruise along next to you and they just, I mean, I see it all day long as I'm cruising up and down the freeway. I see a hundred people on their phones texting and doing all kinds of stuff and it's just become such a ridiculous problem with car accidents. It's so deadly, it's, it's, it's outpacing drunk driving. And so law enforcement's really, really, really taking it serious. And they're revising the laws and making it illegal to record from a, a mobile device and to uh, utilize it. And there he goes, he's pulling them over now. Dude just went to get out of the exit lane and high patrol was like, I don't think so. So been hanging with him for ever since I just before I started recording but yeah, they're not joking they're they're taking it serious and everybody's got to take it serious I mean I even I'm bad sometimes with getting on my device while I'm you know moving down the road and stuff and I've got a whole different animal here with my laptop and it's, you know that's can become a huge distraction and uh, you know make, you know just doing what I'm doing when I'm video recording as I'm rolling down the road and stuff it's got to be hands-free and I've got to be able to train myself to not get wrapped up in what I'm doing with the electronic devices and make sure that my top priority is driving down the road and operating the motor vehicle. As soon as anything else inside the cab of this truck becomes a distraction and driving becomes secondary, that's when things get really ugly and stuff. So this is my public service announcement that uh, Repo Nut's going to be uh, on heightened alert trying to do a lot less you know you guys will see a lot more from here on out uh, when I'm on this thing I want to try to make sure that my truck's not rolling down the road I mean I might be creeping at one or two or three miles an hour in a neighborhood with my foot hovering over the brake and looking at my laptop and going back and forth like that. that's different no one's gonna die you know when I'm doing that kind of thing but when I'm you know operating the motor vehicle and I'm going 65 down the freeway I should be over here you know looking at stuff you know, it's one thing when you got GPS pulled up and you're you know, you're looking at a map and you glance at it and you glance back, you glance, you glance back. But I shouldn't be typing anything and I shouldn't be using the mouse and I shouldn't be trying to operate the laptop while I'm going down the road at speeds that can kill people. Because this thing is a freaking uh, one-ton missile and uh, all it takes is for traffic to back up in an unexpected corner or over a bend. And I'm looking at it this way and you look up and there's a wall of traffic and die that way so yep stop the texting watch the road guys